on December 12th, uh, the next topic is uh, short-term loan from the Regent Academy of Colorado. On December 12th, the Board of Education held a public hearing regarding the request of Collegiate Academy for Col of Colorado for the force of the loan of up to $450,000. Uh, documents related to the request were provided to the Board. The Board of Education will come to decision on whether to approve the request or deny it, asking for additional information from Collegiate Academy in the form of a five-year master plan of the school, an evaluation of the school's corrective action plan by an independent consultant with experience, and a marketing plan that the school um, will develop. The school has submitted the requested documents and now request that the board approve the loan of up to $450,000. Um, is, is there a motion on this request? Um, sir, are we, well, we going to hear, um, we gonna hear mm -hmm. any discussion or are we going to hear from the uh, mm -hmm. Academy? Uh, do we have? Do we have any specific questions for them, or would I take them right away? All right. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Uh, I think it was. I just didn't know if we were going to have actual people here from the Legion Academy to discuss it. We, we can't ask questions uh, if we have anybody who would like to. We put that to the, to the board first. Uh, are there any questions that you would like to ask of the Legion Academy personnel? Uh, I've spent a uh, good bit of time over the last two weeks uh, looking into this uh, particular fairly good shape. Thank you for the information you provided. Um, are there any comments from uh, Collegiate? Uh, uh, would you have uh, a brief update here? If, uh, or would you like to take the time to hear that? Uh, we'd be happy to provide that. That would be that would be great. How long will it take? Uh, three minutes or less. Oh, well, I would take five or ten. I just don't want to to go very long without some. Uh, okay. Um, uh, first, I'd like to thank the board for your consideration of the short-term loan uh, that we requested in December. Um, I'd like to briefly review the corrective action that we've taken uh, since December of 2012, uh, a little over a year ago. Um, talk about the process we followed in the past month um, since the December board meeting. Uh, and then finally, uh, share a little additional progress that's been made since the documents were submitted about a week ago for tonight's meeting. Uh, December 2012, Collegiate requested and was granted a $150,000 line of credit uh, to cover a possible budget shortfall uh, in fiscal year 13. Uh, we cut $300,000 from our budget and the school was able to avoid using any of that loan uh, and finish the year uh, with a positive forward balance. Additional budget efficiencies were put in place this fiscal year uh, to minimize any possible shortfall in fiscal year 14. In December, the Board of Education authorized a line of credit up to $200,000 uh, in fiscal year 14, uh, and we're pleased to report tonight um, that with the 2013 calendar year finalized, uh, our school ended December of 2013 with no borrowing from the district. Uh, and about a $15,000 uh, forward cash balance. We continue to project conservative figures uh, and uh, to beat those projections. Um, since December 12th, our board and administration have spent considerable time uh, working with two respected charter school consultants, uh, Doug Herring, who's with us this evening, uh, and Tony Fontana. Mr. Fontana's role is to help us build upon our academic success to ensure growth for years to come. In the recently released Colorado School Grades rankings, uh, our elementary and middle schools ranked on par with area neighborhood schools, and our high school received a higher ranking than all but two neighborhood high schools in the district. Uh, we're very proud of that. We also received a performance rating from the CBE on our school performance framework, uh, which is the highest rating issued by the state. Mr. Herring's role has been to assist with strategic goals and to develop marketing plans uh, which will drive our enrollment uh, not only in 1415, uh, but in future years as well. He's also reviewed our financial plans and submitted a letter certifying the accuracy of those projections. Many elements of our marketing plan have already begun implementation this month, uh, such as attending school fairs uh, to drive enrollment and obtaining permission to place enrollment signage along major thoroughfares. As a result, Collegiate Academy has continued to experience increasing interest in enrollment with 87 requests as of this morning for choice enrollment applications. After the positive financial news from December 31st, and after refining our strategic plan and financial projections, we've consulted with district personnel and with Mr. Harry 
regarding the loan request amount. At this time, we would like to amend our short-term loan request to the amount of $400,000. This line of credit will not only cover our maximum projected shortfall of approximately $350,000, uh, but would also give us um, a, a little bit of cushion uh, to prevent a single unforeseen facilities event, for example, uh, a boiler uh, issue uh, from forcing us to come back uh, and ask for additional funds. Um, thank you again for your consideration. All right, uh, thank you for that. And uh, after hearing the affirmative reports uh, from CEA, uh, the charter schools and the like, I'm cautiously optimistic uh, that we will not have to have this conversation again in the future. And with that, uh, I would move the Board of Education approve the request, a loan of $400,000 to Collegiate Academy of Colorado for the purpose of meeting their budgetary requirements. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, discussion? I'll, I'll start the discussion with uh, a statement of both pleasure that you that you amended your request down to four hundred thousand. Uh, it does give some credibility to your claims of being very conservative with your estimates, as uh, you do seem to be tracking pretty well against your estimates and in fact running ahead of them. Uh, I did spend some time with uh, both the legal charter schools and some some other groups, giving some background information on the performance of Collegiate Academy over the last two or three years, and I understand that you're. Uh, your uh, school performance rating is, has actually recovered and is, is doing quite well at this point at 76.9 in the 12-13 year. Um, and with that, that puts you at par with a, a number of the schools in the area and in fact performing pretty well against uh, charters in your category. So with that, I, I have achieved a comfort level that you're, you're performing against plan and in fact your, your, your estimates are, are conservative. And, and can be relied upon. Other comment? Yes, Ms. Bell. Thank you so much for providing us with the information we asked. Um, it was uh, interesting um, to see the steps that you've taken. And um, I expressed last month, and I'm going to express again, that I believe that um, all schools need to be financially. Um, they need to be financially sustainable, and I do not believe, even with a loan of $400,000, that you all are going to be financially sustainable. Having said that, I think it's absolutely critical that you're, you, you're, we give your students and your families the chance to participate in um, the choice enrollment season that we have right now. So I'm glad that we're able to make this, this decision tonight. I too want to thank you for the detailed information that you provided to the board. The marketing plan, the strategic plan, the other materials, and looked through those thoroughly and really thought very hard about this. I wrestled with this issue. I support choice in Jeffco, but I think as board members, one of our one of our most important roles is being good fiscal stewards of taxpayer dollars. And my concern is the $400,000 ask, whether it's $450,000 or $400,000, it is too high of a risk for me, uh, for the district, given where we are with our budget, given the needs of all of our students across the board. And I, I also would echo what Ms. Feldman shared tonight, that it is important um, students, parents, your school community, um, is aware, depending on the direction that the board takes tonight, to continue the, the final school year. Uh, any other comments uh, for discussion? Okay, is that a uh, roll call? Ms. Dahlkepper? No. Ms. Feldman? No. Mr. Newkirk? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Mr. Wood? Yes. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming tonight to present. Thank you.